hey what's up guys and welcome back to anime king and today i'm going to be giving you part 34 of what if naruto went missing for four years remember to get this one to 100 like as usual share this to all of your friends on your social media platform and also go ahead and check out my second channel anime king 2 and if you enjoy all the lovely what ifs over there Go ahead and click that red subscribe button and be a part of the channel. And thank you all for your support and help. I post a new episode of Uchi and Naruto the Sage over there. And also an episode of Naruto the God of Shinobi. Back on this channel, after this, I'm going to be posting What if Naruto was taken by the Raikage? And if you're new to anime making too and this is the first time hearing my voice, what are you waiting for guys? Go ahead and click that red subscribe button and join the Anime King family and be a part of the channel. And thank you all for your support and help. And go ahead and comment down below and tell me if you're new. I'll be replying and talking back to all of you. So yeah, without further ado, let's get straight into this. So the last time we left off, we had a time skip. And now, there is just 3 years left of training before the Demon War starts. As Shikamaru went to the sand and he talked to Oniki, telling him about this war that is coming. As Oniki thought it was fake at first before Shikamaru explained. And back at the Leaf Village, a Kage meeting is going to be held at the Leaf. As we last left off with Naruto, the head of the clans at the gate, along with Snade, as they wait for the rest of the Kages to show up. So, yeah, that was basically the last part we left off. You guys can switch across the playlist and check out the other parts. So let's start this new episode. Lord Tishukage said Tsunade, so glad that you have came. I come not for this meeting, but to see with my own eyes the spawn of the dreaded yellow flash, said Onki. You look like your father, he said, looking at Naruto. People have told me that, said Naruto. Your father killed my son at the battle of Kaneki Bridge. Growl Oniki, I should kill you where you stand. Even if you kill me, it still wouldn't bring your son back to life. Said Naruto, as hot headed as ever, Oniki, said a voice, as everyone turned to see. Me. As Oniki turned around, me tell me, I was fighting wars when your parents were kids, said Oniki. Yes, and your age has blinded you to the fact that you're outmatched. This Namikaze could kill you and everyone else and you couldn't touch him. Now where are my manners? I am Mei Kermi, the 5th Mizukage of Kiri. Well we now have 3 out of 5 cages, said Tsunade, make it 4, said Naruto as the other noticed Gara and his siblings and Shikamaru and a team of sand Jonins coming over a large hill. The Raikage is due in the morning, said Snade. Then, we will be off, said Onki. As he walk off with me, as several council members left with them to give them a guide, Hayashi also went along with Onki. I don't trust those two together, they both hate you, said Snade as she looked at Hayashi talking to Onki. Let them hate me, said Naruto. We have more important things to deal with. Nothing will matter if we lose this war. You have really matured, Naruto, said Snade as Gar and his group arrive. Later that night, Naruto lie in bed, looking up at the ceiling. He just couldn't sleep. Tomorrow will be the meeting that will change everything. They need to get all of the nations together or else they will stand no chance of winning this war. They need to throw everything at the enemy in three years time. Suddenly, he felt Sakura move in her sleep as he looked down at her. Yes, Naruto, Sakura said. Of course I will marry you. As Naruto smirked, I guess when I ask her to marry me, I know what she will say. As he looked down at her with a smile, I wonder if Neji asked Ten Ten yet. I mean, I loaned him the extra money he needed for the perfect ring. And then again, I put my name on the receipt. Well, I'm sure I'll find out later. Mr. and Mrs. Namikaze said Sakura in her sleep. Someday soon, said Naruto as he kissed Sakura on the forehead as he lied down in the bed. 
The next morning, in a dark stone room with only a candle to illuminate the darkness, the 18-year-old Uchiha Sasuke stood up from his bed. He looked down at the sleeping Karen as she placed her face in his pillow just to smell him. Pathetic, Sasuke whispered as he changed into his training gear. Sasuke, Karen called out in her sleep as she dreamed about what they'd done last night. Sasuke simply cracked his neck as he looked at himself in the full length mirror as he was done putting on his armor as Karen woke up. Sasuke, what are you going to do? asked Karen as she sit up in the bed. Don't worry about it Karen, it doesn't concern you, said Sasuke. I beg that differ, said Karen as she got up and pressed her body against the armor. See, because of the ring that you gave me, I would be the future Mrs. Uchiha. Why did I give in to her demands of giving her a ring? Thought Sasuke. Very well, I am going to leave on business. Can I come? Whispered Karin into his ear. It isn't needed. I am simply getting back what is mine. Said Sasuke. Please, she begged. As Sasuke turned and looked at her. Very well. Thank you, she said with a smile. Back at Konoha, the sun came up over the leaf. As the five cages gathered in the Leaf Village Council room, as it had been modified for the meeting, as there was now a large table in the council room with the card case sitting amongst it, as each cage was given one seat with two of their guards behind them. Before the meeting start, Naruto noticed Hayashi talking with Onki a lot. Well, it is time to get started, said Hayashi. As he walked up to Sanade, he then turned and looked at Naruto. Leave, demon. Kakashi and I will be Lady Sanade's backup. Very well, Naruto said, as he started to leave the room. Okay, as the leader of the Leaf Village Council, I welcome you all to the meeting of the cage, said Hayashi, as he looked up to see Naruto at the doorway. Naruto Namikaze, you are not allowed to take part in this meeting, said Hayashi. I am not here representing the leaf, said Naruto as Hayashi glared at him. What are you talking about? asked Hayashi. He is here to be my guard, said a voice, as a ball of flames appear in front of Naruto and out of that flame appear a large fox as it was the Kayubi, but he wasn't in his fully form so he would fit in here. I am Lord Kayubi, the ruler of the demon fox. Who invited you? yelled Hayashi. I did, said Sanade as she looked at Hayashi. We are here to talk about the coming demon war. It makes sense that the demon lords gather with us. Demon lords? asked Hayashi. The door then opened as Sakura and Shikamaru entered. A second later, a blue portal opened in front of Shikamaru as a large wolf walked out. I am Hashai, ruler of the demon wolf, said Hashai. And then a puff of smoke appeared beside Shikamaru on his left and also one on his right. As Silali appeared out of the smoke, I am Silali, the ruler of the demon lions. And this is my summoner, Hinata Hayuga, as Hinata was the next puff. This was the first time anyone has seen Hinata over a year and she has changed a lot. She was taller as she had on a long blue sleeve with a v-neck cut. She also had on a dark blue skirt that ended around the same level as Sakura's and her boots and gloves were blue as she had a strap around her that hang on to her pouch on her back with her arrows in it and a bow as she also looked more confident. An archer kind of rare in the ninja world. But combined with the Byakugan, a powerful mix, thought Tsunade as she looked at Hinata. Hello Hinata, said Hayashi. Father, said Hinata with disdain in her voice. You have been gone for a while, but now that you're back, you will never leave again, said Hayashi with a grin. But suddenly, Hinata started to laugh. You know what? I would like to see you try and stop me, said Hinata. I am your father and the clan leader, said Hayashi. You give me to another clan, father, 
said Hinata. I still can use a bird case seal on you, said Hayashi, as Hinata moved her bangs and showed her forehead, as the bird case seal was gone. What seal are you talking about? asked Hayashi. How did you remove the bird cage seal? Easy, demon chakra, said Tilali. It broke that weak, human seal. I hate to break up this family reunion, but can we start this meeting? Ask me. I have a question. How can you demons be around? Ask the Raikage. Only the Kayubi is a tail beast. The tail beasts as you call them, are lower level demons. Uncivilized animals compared to us, said Silali. Like ancient barbarians, said Sakura. Sakura Haruno, you are a guard and you are not allowed to speak, said Hayashi. Only the cage are allowed to speak. Isn't that what you're doing now, Hayashi? Asked Tsunade as Hayashi glared at her for a second. It doesn't stop her from being correct, does she? Asked me. No, it doesn't, said the Kayube. Hayashi, if you insult or tell my summoners what they can't or can't do, I'll rip your face off, the Kayube said. No, you won't, Kayube, said Selali. If we're going to kill him, I will have first go at him for what he did to Hinata. Fine, the Kayube said. I believe that we have gotten off course, said Gara. He is right. We need to decide what we are going to do about this demon war, said me. I am still not sure that this demon war is real, said Onki as the other cages look at him. You senile stupid old man, A said as he slammed his hand on a table. How can you think this is a trick? Look in front of you. It could all be a trick by the leaf. As they lure us into a trap and destroy us with their one real demon, the Kayube, said Onki. They are real demons and they are powerful, said Killer B. And how can you know that? asked me. I am a Jinjulki, answered Killer B. I have the eight tails with me. Ah, uh, I was wondering why you seem different, said Hayashi as he looked at Killer B. I should have known. The Ox Demon Clan is the most civilized on the Ross, said Silali. However, their power is not on the same level as us. Do you still need proof? asked me as she looked at Onki. It can still be a trap, said Onki. Suddenly, May, Onki, and A start to argue with each other, while everyone else just stand back and watch. Is this how human politics normally work? Ask Silali, for them to scream at each other until someone gives up? Yes, and 99% of the time they get nothing done, said Hashai. Sadly, he's correct, said the Kayubi. As the three cages stood up and yelled at the top of their lungs, You are an old fool, Oniki. Yell me. I have the most combat experience out of anyone in this room. How dare you call me a fool? Yell Oniki. You also lost the most battles. Responded A. This is going nowhere, said Snadi. Did you expect it? Asked Hayashi. You were dumb to even bring them here. Five different powers will never get along. Their goals are too different. I just saw the threat and thought they would realize it and work together, said Snade to herself, but Hayashi started to bash her some more. You are an old idiotic fool, said Hayashi, as Snade looked at Naruto. As everyone who was watching the argument, Naruto was looking up at the sitting area. You are enjoying this, aren't you? Naruto said out loud. As everyone turned and looked at him, Who are you talking to Namikaze? asked Oniki. I wasn't talking to you, said Naruto as he looked over at a dark spot in the sitting area as Snade eyes widened as she saw who Naruto was talking to. As standing there was Sasuke Uchiha, also with the red haired woman Karin. A little, said Sasuke, it's fun to watch your hopes and dream fall apart. Who is the cutie? Ask me. Don't call my man cute, said Karin as she pulled out a crossbow. This is lace with the most deadly poison and if you say that again, I will put it through your head. If you do that I drop you, said Hinata as she aimed her own arrow at Karin. 
You can't kill me, said Karin. We can't fight each other until the demon war starts. The code said so. Actually, we can kill any spies that we find, said Hashai, and you two are spying right now. We are not spying, said Sasuke. What reason would we need to spy on you? Then why are you here? growled Sakura. Two things, said Sasuke. The first, to inform you I have taken back what is mine. What are you talking about? asked Hayashi. The clan records, said Sasuke. You can't have those. They belong to Leaf Village, yelled Hayashi. No, they belong to the Uchiha clan, said Sasuke. And as a last Uchiha, I am entitled to those records. Well, he will not be the last for long, said Karin with a grin. So, Sasuke finally settled down with a girl. Too bad that she's as big a snake as him, said Tamari. Shut up, wolf witch, said Sasuke as he looked at Tamari. Just because you have some demon chakra in you, seems that you have mated with Shikamaru. Doesn't give you the right to talk when a man is talking. Why you sexist piece of trash, snapped Sakura as her eyes turned slated with a demon chakra. Same go for you, fox whore, said Sasuke. Sakura, I wish I could help you rip his face off, but he can't hurt us right now. Just like we can't hurt him, said Naruto. Control your woman, brat, said Sasuke as he looked at Naruto. Sakura is a woman I love and my partner, we're equal, said Naruto. It is never equal, someone is always in control, answered Sasuke. What is the second reason you're here, asked Naruto as Sasuke jumped and landed on the table. To inform the leaders of all the other villages. Yeah, I'm talking to the rest of you Kages. If you join in the upcoming war, you will all be killed, said Sasuke. And what if we do what you say and don't fight, asked Oniki. Then, only most of you will die, said Sasuke. So how about we kill you now, yelled Killer B, as he pulled one of his swords and charged at Sasuke. As he came down hard, Sasuke simply smirked as he flipped out his own sword and sliced Killer B's sword in half, as he then stretched out his hand and grabbed B by the neck. I should kill you for trying to do that. The demon codes allow me to protect myself so the others can't save you. In an instant, Naruto appeared beside Sasuke as he grabbed onto Sasuke's arm and started to hold it tightly. And we can kill spies as you are here spying on our meeting. Now let him go. I guess that worked, Namikaze. Instantly, Sasuke let Killer B go, as B fell to the ground, trying to catch back his breath. As both Naruto and Sasuke glared at each other, I will enjoy standing over your body as I watch you die, said Sasuke. We will see about that, Sasuke, but for the meantime, just crawl back into the hole that you came from, said Naruto, as Sasuke smirked. As with that, both him and Karin disappeared into nothingness. Now you see what we're dealing with, said Snadi, and why we need to work together to fight this war. How can we fight this war? As you clearly see, they can defeat a Jinjuki with ease, said Oniki as he looked at B. We should just hunker down and let the demons fight it out. Only a coward do that, said Killer B as he got off the ground. It seems that you were easily defeated by him, said A. Yeah, but a little help, brother. Seeing that in this war, a little can change the outcome, said B, as he wasn't speaking in any rhyme or anything like that. I agree, said me. We are in. We are as well, said A. As everyone then turned to Oniki. No, this is a lie, said Oniki. That is a Uchiha. And that means he's from the leaf. And this is a trap, but if you all want to fall for it, go right ahead. We are not taking part in this. Well then, you can head back home and wait for your death, said Selali, as Oniki and his team got up and stormed out. Well, shall we talk about battle plan? I want to send a message back to my village, informing them, said me. As do I, said A. Well... We will meet again tomorrow, said Snally. Work for me, everyone said the nod. 
Then we will meet tomorrow as a Kayube. And Hashai disappeared. Hinata, yes, Lady Selali, said Hinata. Why don't you spend the rest of the day here, said Selali. Are you sure, my lady? I can come and train some more, said Hinata. You have been going hard and training for a year. You can spend some time with your friends. Thank you, said Hinata. And if you kill your father, it is fine by me, said Selali as she disappeared. Outside of the door stood Kiba, Choji, Ino and their parents. This can't be good, said Tasumi, as Hayashi stormed out of the room. As Kiba stood there as he saw Naruto, Sakura and Shikamaru, as he saw a tall woman, as he then noticed her eyes, Hinata, as Hinata stood quiet for a moment, as he started to get worried. Hello Kiva, she said the smile. Well well, looks like Hinata is back, said Ino. For a little at least, after the meeting tomorrow, I will be heading back to the demon world, said Hinata, as Kiba lowered his head a bit. Well, in that case, we should all go out and get something to eat, said Choji. My family opened a new food stand and it has the best barbecue pork. Choji, that will not work, said Ino, as Choji blinked. Oh yeah, he said, as he looked at Naruto and Sakura. They are going to refuse to sell you guys, because you are demon summoners. I know a place we can go, said Naruto. Don't worry, I won't tell my dad about your place, said Choji. Alright then, there is a place in the 9th district. Said Naruto, 9 district? Asked Ino. That is a rat hole. Not anymore, said Naruto. As he ran through hand signs, when he finished, he slammed his hand on the ground. As a one tailed demon fox appeared, it looked like a normal fox that would be roaming in the woods. Ah, oh, Lord Naruto, what can I do for you? The fox asked. Yes, Ara, I need you to find Neji and Tenten. Do you remember when I show you their photos? asked Naruto. The male with the long black hair and white eyes, and the females with the bun in her hair, asked the fox. Yeah, said Naruto. And tell them that we're meeting at a restaurant in the 9th district called the Leaf Dragon, said Naruto. No problem, sir, the fox said, as he vanished. As the group started to walk, as Shikamaru was the only one stop. Hey, Shikamaru, we're leaving. Yell Kiba, go ahead, I'll meet you there, answered Shikamaru. I am waiting for Temari. You're a whip, said Kiba. I wouldn't say that if I were you, said Temari as she walked out. Alright. Let's go now, Kiba said, rubbing the back of his head. But guys, I'm going to be ending this episode right here. If you want to see the next part of this, you already know what to do. Like, subscribe, comment down below, and turn on that bell notification to stay posted. Remember to share with all of your friends on your social media platform. But for now, I'm out of here.